We are gathered here today, on June the 8th, to celebrate the love shared by Jenny and Brody. I'm in love, don't care who knows about it. I've always been told, you know, to surround yourself, surround yourself with people that are better than you. <laughs> and Brody is truly one of those people. Yeah, looking back at it, we had some of the best memories. And uh, I just want to wish you guys the best future. And, you know, here's the journey of Brody. <laughs> We've been besties since high school, and I've pretty much just followed her around and subsequently Brody ever since then. <laughs> uh, Jenny and Brody, I say this all the time, but you two are the easiest people on earth to celebrate. It brings us so much joy to be here, and I could never express my gratitude for having you two in my life. clear memory of us that has continued to pop into my head when I think about writing these. It was the summer before we went to college and we were driving down Cavanaugh Lake Road at sunset with the windows down and I just remember thinking how happy I was and how this is what love should really feel like. Fast forward 10 years later and while I felt that exact feeling in all of our big moments, I feel it so much more in our small moments. I feel it when we get in and out and take sunset drives. I feel it on Sunday mornings when you watch F1 and I bug you about the crossword. And I feel it when we have a glass of wine too many and end up talking for hours in our backyard. And in the nature of celebrating our small moments on what is likely one of the biggest days of our lives, I have a few vows for you. I vow to never stop asking you or demanding you to tell me something new all about me. I vow to always taste test the first noodle before you finish the pasta. I vow to dance with you at every wedding and every party, specifically to no hands. I pinch myself that I get to spend the rest of my life with you, feeling that same pure happiness I did 10 years ago. <clears throat> Marrying you today will be the greatest joy of my life. Love you. Kind of leading into my toast, I want to thank the generation that uh, isn't here today. Um, a group of people that I know are here in spirit looking down. I know my grandmother and my father are looking down and saying, what a beautiful couple. As my grandmother says, thank God she married somebody with some heights so we get some, get some, <laughs> get that into the Stubbs gene pool. I firmly believe that based on that generation, we got here today because it had to happen. These two were meant to be. So the story goes a little bit like this. So in 1963, my parents explained to my grandmother, Genevieve, that they are not going to hold on to a three-generation naming uh, tradition of a W.G. Stubbs. My grandmother supposedly cursed them that they would have a mean little red-headed boy that was gonna be a tough one to raise. So with that story, I'm gonna fast forward. As she told me the story in the summer of 1993, Two weeks before she passed, I said, I'm going to have a red-headed girl, I'm going to marry Gwen, and we're going to name it Genevieve. And she smiled, and that's the last time I saw her. On July 3rd, 1995, three years to the date, Gwen sits up three weeks early, 
and says, my water just broke, we got out of the hospital. And she said to me, Scott, I guess we're having a redheaded girl named Genevieve today. So beautiful. <laughs> you are so beautiful. What do you think, me and my dirt stain and all? <laughs> oh my God, Jen. I can't believe you're that little girl. You're <laughs> stunning. Brody is such a lucky guy. Oh, thank you. Mom and I are too. Oh. <laughs> That's a show stopping dress. That's all I can yeah. say. It's show stopping. <laughs> Jay, I love and adore everything about you. Uh, from the time we wake up together to the time we go to bed, you're the most selfless person I know, the most caring person I know, the most beautiful person I know. I love being, I'm so lucky I just get to be around you. And I'm gonna love and adore you for our whole fucking music. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> With no further ado, and by the power vested in me in the United Life Church .com, <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs>